Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I'd like to go over a couple things that people may not know about their graphic software that is killing their game, okay? So what I have open on my screen here is AMD Adrenaline, which is my software for my 7900 XTX, and I have the NVIDIA control panel opened in paint to give you guys some examples of things that you want to look for. So if I go into my card software here, the Adrenaline software, and I'm playing a set of Corsa, a game from 2014, there are things that I don't want to have on. I want the game to communicate with my computer and my settings to run off of the game. The game has so many settings in Content Manager, I really don't want my graphics card to override any of these settings. So what I do is for AMD, you go to Gaming, Graphics, and you just make sure that all this stuff is turned off. I don't care about Radeon Chill, Radeon Boost, Anti-Lag, Super Resolution, Enhanced Sync. All of this stuff is not anything that I really care about for a game that has all of these settings. Now what does matter is if I turn this on and I leave it at 2x, the game is not going to let me put 16x like we all know that we want. So that's why we disable it. If I go to anti-aliasing and I put override and I run 2x, my computer for Assetto Corsa and any game is always going to be on 2x anti-aliasing. So that's why we need to go into our graphics software and turn off all of this stuff for Assetto Corsa. You may have noticed I'm in my main graphics display because most games I play are older and I don't care about any of this technology. If you want to switch just the game on AMD, you click Games and you go to Assetto Corsa and we'll be presented with all of the same settings yet again that we can now turn off on our high-end AMD cards and we can have a nice enjoyable Assetto experience. Now, if you are on an NVIDIA card, especially if you've upgraded from an integrated graphics system, there are things you really want to pay attention to, like this right here, CUDA GPUs. Take that off of all and switch it to your graphics card. Switch that off of all and put it to your graphics card. Everything else here is just like the AMD software, where you just want to turn things off. Look, you have anti-aliasing mode. If you change that on your NVIDIA control panel, the game is no longer going to change it for you when you change those settings. The other thing on the NVIDIA control panel is program settings. All the same settings you see under global will be under program, and you have to make sure that they're disabled under program as well. So now that you've done that, and we've made sure that our computer graphics software is no longer inhibiting the ability of our game to change these settings, all of your settings should now work properly. That's the big problem here. I've had a few people in the last couple weeks that I've helped out and we didn't get down to the bottom of it until we opened up the NVIDIA control panel and seen what was going on. This is very important stuff, not just for Assetto, but for any game that you're playing. I'm going to keep the video short, informative, and hope everybody has a good day. Just remember guys, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. You can have a 4090, but if you come in here and your CUDA GPU is on something Radeon HD, you're just running the processor graphics. So let's go ahead, get everything sorted out today, go through these settings, make sure nothing is going with the game in a negative way, nothing's being affected, and your game will run better, it will look better, and your settings will work better. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.